What's going on guys, Kyrie here. I'm going over the 6-1 update for both NA and Global, as well as some sneak peek of things coming soon. Let's get into it. I'm going to start with NA, go to Global, and then end telling you about the sneak peek of what's coming soon with Korea. First, we have Path of Oblivion and New Rupture. It will be a little confusing today for people because you will have a new quest to do that will unlock it, that will ask you to do 1, 2, 5, and 10 of them, but it's only available on Saturdays and Sundays. They also added a fifth level to all of these, and I took a look at Sky Island, the one that's available right now, which is a light theme, meaning your dark units will have a bonus. Then we have on NA the Magical Archers. I will have a separate video breaking them down and telling you which ones are worth it tomorrow. Then we have the two transmogs. The Chimera one right here that you would have to uh, buy in the purchases, but the Valkyrie right here that you can unlock uh, and through the arena shop. You can get the three elemental ones from the challenge arena and the light and dark one from brawl arena. Going over to global, your big thing is going to be the uh, tutorial tower event. Uh, from their initial broadcasting of this, it sounded like you were just going to get um, side versions of them where it's not the same name but all the same effects. You're getting the full event, which is very, very huge. I will have a second video out today explaining the ins and outs of the events and which units are worth it. Then when we go down here, you're, you're getting the same Path to Oblivion, all the same stuff. Uh... You're also getting Celestial Towers are going up to uh, the regular one capping out at 140 and all the elemental ones going to 110, which will put you on the same playing field for us on NA. You're getting the same outfit, the same transmogs. Uh, now we're talking about the collaboration. And like I said right here, uh, increases defense of warrior type monsters by 33. Remember that is... Uh, that's base stats, so if you have percentage plus defense, that'll uh, work on that. Uh, we still have more of this step by step. This is explaining the new ones. I want to get down to this one right here, uh, Mystical Summons event. So if you do at least 150 uh, summons during this event, you will get the rewards, which I believe is 12 Mystical Scrolls and 1 uh, Legendary Scrolls, which will help you with your Blessing event. Uh, the Ifrit events. This is what I wanted to get to. Uh, we had this on uh, NA in uh, November for Thanksgiving. That's why it's uh, the Pecan Pies. Uh, I will have a breakdown of this, but this gives you uh, green Ifrit shards, which uh, a lot of you are probably going to throw on your Fire Ifrit to Sarian to skill him out pretty cheaply. But it's going to have really, really good events. Uh, pumpkin for harvest this ties into that and it'll let you uh get a piece of accessory just like uh the duck one where you got the free duck ride it's going to be like that uh, bingo that you already know of and uh the two events for the two towers now let's get into the sneak peek that you're actually here for now we have two things we have what uh korea is getting this week and we have what they're getting next week. The next week's going to be very, uh, a lot bigger, but this one is something to look forward to in the future as well. Uh, they have the Rose Dice event, uh, similar to all like the Lollipop things like that, but this is the interesting part. Instead of flat out getting your thing, you have to roll dice and then get things as you go around. Uh, I don't know if you're if it's going to... Uh, once you make it around like Monopoly, if it's going to be a new map or if it's you keep going around until you get everything. This is a very interesting way to take our events. And then right here, we've had similar events like this. Do a thing, get a prize, and all the prizes are going to be pretty decent and they're getting the same bingo board. Now let's talk about next week. Next week, we have a big update that they're getting... As I said, with Global, you're going to be on par with NA as far as the tower. Uh, they're getting an expansion uh, to the tower uh, going from going up to 160. 
and when you uh, get to 160, you're going to be able to get Guangdong, which is this mount right here, uh, which was a I think a pre-order thing for Global. I could be mistaken, but I've read that this was a thing previously. Sunset Battlefield is getting improved. This is the one that we haven't got yet on NA or Global. This is the um, kind of League of Legends style uh, kill their turrets and then kill the boss monster at the end. This is getting a very, very fundamental change. And it's probably what we're going to see once it comes to NA and Global, where it's the same strategy, but uh, it was taking too long. So the base is that big monster is over time now going to walk towards the middle and fight each other. Um, but they're going to have huge damage taken down. And by destroying those towers, if you played League of Legends, uh, it will get rid of that buff, allowing you to kill it easier. And the first boss that dies is the loser. Uh, now, uh, Guild... Guild Siege is also getting a huge change where instead of one war a week where it was uh, Monday, Tuesday, five attacks, Wednesday off, Thursday, Friday, five attacks, and then weekend for calculation. Now it's going to be the entire battle on Monday and Tuesday, but it's only available 12 instead of 24 hours during the day. So that's a big fundamental change and attacks are going from five attacks uh, per war to per day to three attacks per day. A pretty big fundamental change. Let me know in the comment section down below how you feel about it. Uh, max defense teams are going from six to 10. I'm going over these things because I think they're going to be important for both global and NA going forward. Uh, one attack win and two points are awarded uh, for an attack failure, just in case, you know, uh, there's a tie or whatnot. Uh, event raid. Do, do percent. Uh, vampiric runes are going from 25% of uh, dealt damage is healed to you to 30% because no one's really using it right now. Uh, we're getting a buff to Kina. Uh, they're not saying what it is. But uh, a lot of people have talked about uh, Cleef and Orbia kind of dominating PvP, and they want to bring Kina back up into that area. They're also doing a big swath of changes for monsters. Uh, for five stars, they're messing with Fire Chimera, which just had a banner in NA and Global. Uh, they're also doing Harium Kim, which uh, is that event that you guys have right now. So on Global, I would get one copy of him, just so when he was initially released, he was busted uh, really, really good. Then they had to hotfix nerf him, and now they're probably going to bring him back up. Not to what he was, but closer so that he will definitely uh, see some more play. Atomic Samurai, this is probably because no one's using him. And they want him to see some kind of play. Uh, Water Pirate Captain. They talked a little bit up here about um, people on the Korea server saying uh, Galleon is taking over over there. So he's probably going to see some nerfs. Uh, Wind Chimera and Wind Vampire. This is a little scary because Argon is a huge thing for a lot of players. And he's probably going to see a nerf here. Uh, Wind Sorry, Vampire Hunter, excuse me. He's probably going to see a buff. Uh, Wind Occult Girl, that's going to be huge. Uh, she's already a good niche pick against some comps. It'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Uh, let's see. Light Attribute Scarab Knight. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if uh, Sir Tides gets a nerf. That'll be very, very interesting. I hope uh, Topher Smurf's ready for that. <laughs> Uh, dark, ooh, water pirate, yeah, right here they talk about water, uh, pirate captain, and how they don't want to initially jump on that, just because they're worried about fundamental changes. Uh, four star units getting some adjustments, uh, fire, uh, high elemental, water, amazon, uh, wind inferno, which the infernos are kind of slept on, uh, the water and the dark one are very, very powerful. Battle mammoth, werewolf, 
and Dark uh, Battle Mammoth, they're also getting a couple of outfits you guys might want in the future. Here is the Hell Lady transmog, and here is the uh, Mermaid transmog. Let me know if you guys like seeing these things to come segment, or if you just want me to focus on the NA and global stuff. Till next time.